I was beginning to think that you were no longer a boy, that you were now a man. I was wrong. You're acting like a stupid child. Have Gun, Will Travel. Starring Mr. John Daner as Paladin. San Francisco, 1875, the Carlton Hotel, headquarters of a man called Paladin. Yes. Mr. Oh, Paladin? Hello, hey boy. Come on in. Oh, uh, uh, you want me to take tray and glasses downstairs now? Yes, thank you. You have long talk with man up here this afternoon. Yes, he's an old friend of mine, Colonel Amos R. Leland, United States Army, now retired. Oh, he so? Uh-huh. And the colonel's father was General Amos R. Leland, United States Army, now deceased. Perhaps you remember him? Oh, General Amos R. Leland. No, no sir. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I guess there's been an Amos R. Leland carrying a high rank in the United States Army since, well, since the United States had an army. The Amos R. Leland seems to be in rut. Well, it looks like the present generation is going to put a stop to it. Amos Jr. is a second lieutenant, and he doesn't seem very enthusiastic about it. Oh, Amos Jr. don't like army, eh? No, the colonel has heard indirectly that the boy is going to resign his commission. Oh, resign? Mm Mm-hmm. He wants me to check on it. Oh, you go Snoopy for Colonel, Mr. Paladin? <laughs> well, I wouldn't put it that way, hey, boy. I know young Leland. He's a fine boy. If he has some problem, maybe I can help him. Seem to me, uh, maybe Amos Jr. just don't like Army. That's quite possible, hey, boy. Constipation can be a problem for anyone, even doctors. And when constipation occurs, it's interesting to see just what doctors consider important about a laxative they might use or recommend. Well, a majority of the doctors we heard from had this to say. A laxative should be effective, gentle, close to natural acting. A medicine that can be used with complete confidence. Now, X-lax has been popular with many doctors and millions of people over the years because chocolated X-lax is effective. Overnight, it helps you toward your normal regularity. X-Lax is so gentle, so close to natural acting, there's no upset. That's why many doctors and millions of people use X-Lax with complete confidence. X-Lax, the laxative that helps you toward your normal regularity, gently, overnight. It was late in the day when I reached Tucson. I checked into a hotel and early the next morning rode out to Fort Bleecker, where young Leland had been transferred after a brief tour of duty with the War Department in Washington. When I reached the stockade gates, I dismounted and crossed the dusty parade ground of the low, squat administration building to inquire where I might find the lieutenant. I was directed to his room in the BOQ, the bachelor officer's quarters. Hello, Amos. Good to see you. Paladin, what a surprise. What brings you to this godforsaken place? You? Well, sit down. Thank you. Uh, Amos, I see no reason to beat about the bush. Your father asked me to look in on you. Uh, Got wind of my resignation. Poor Dad. I'm afraid I'm quite a disappointment to him, Paladin. Well, he, uh, he's disturbed about you, and I'll admit that I'm puzzled. As I recall, Amos, you graduated from the Academy with honors. What happened? It's very simple. When I was in Washington, the job I had gave me access to certain files. Going through them one day, I uncovered an irregularity that I felt merited the attention of my superior officers. So you brought it to their attention? Of course. Did they act on it? Immediately. Here I am. As far away from the department as I can get. Amos, when you were in Washington, was it part of your job to go through the files? No. Oh, I see. You were meddling. I don't call it that. 
You were prying into something that didn't concern you. I discovered a gross blunder. I think it concerns me and every American. Did it serve any of us Americans to bring the blunder to light? Did any of us benefit from it? In my opinion, the bumbling of the army should be exposed at every opportunity. So I have to resign. Well, I think you've come to a wise decision, Amos. The army apparently is no longer the place for you. I agree. But I hope they don't wait too long to accept my resignation. After Fort Bleecker, I don't know where they can send me except to the firing squad. Have you been peeking in the files again? Oh, not just the files. I've been snooping around the whole territory. And this time I really have something. Like what? Like this setup smells to high heaven. Now, couldn't you have been a little hasty in drawing your conclusions? You've been here how long now? Long enough to unearth some startling facts about the way things are run out here. And this time... I'm not going to trust my information to go through channels. I'm going straight to the great white father. The president? Yes. I can't act as an officer in the United States Army, but I can act as a private citizen. Well, Amos, I must remember you're no longer that boy I used to know. You're a man. It's your life. Yes. The only one I've got. And right now, I'm hoping I'll be able to hang on to it for a while. What do you mean by that? I'm skating on awfully thin ice, Paladin. My plan must not be discovered. Ah, good evening, Pedro. Oh, Mr. Paladin, I think you go already back to San Francisco. No, I decided to stay a while. A beer, please. Uh, si, sí, Senor Paladin. Oh, hot night, isn't it? Mm, calor bárbaro. Ah. Ah. There you are. Oh, thank you. Uh, Senor Paladin. Yeah? You are a friend of the Lieutenant Amos Leland? Yes, I am. I saw him yesterday. I am also his friend. He was in here today. Look for you. He was here? In Tucson? Si. Have you any idea where I can find him? Maybe I would think at La Casa Delgado. Where's that? It's a little hotel here in Old Town, down the street, around the corner. You find him, Senor Paladin. My friend Amos Leland seemed to have big worry. Thanks, Pedro. Amos, it's Paladin. Amos, hey, what's the idea? Put that gun away. Oh, come in. Come in and close the door and lock it. Sure. Uh, uh, there. You weren't followed, were you? There's no one with you. No. What's the matter with you? Oh, sorry, I guess I'm just plain scared. Well, Pedro at the cantina said you were looking for me. Yes, I, I wanted to talk to you. All right, let's talk. Well, there isn't time now. Every second counts. I've been waiting till dark. Now I've got to move fast. Where are you going? Well, i got to hide out for a while. Amos, has the Army's acceptance of your resignation come through? No, no, not yet. Then you're deserting. Well, I guess you can call it that. I, I think of it as saving my neck. Somebody's out to kill me, Paladin. You're somebody whose toes you might have stepped on with your snooping? Oh, I suppose so. I'm, I'm not sure who could have found out, but I'm being followed. Somebody took a shot at me last night... I'm scared, and I'm running out. Well, you're going to get yourself in a real jam this time, Amos. You let me worry about that. Oh, but wait. Paladin, here. You take this, this map. Map? What for? It's the information I told you about. I have the documented proof of my findings. It's all in a chest buried in a safe place. Now, you keep the map. Yeah, well, what do I do with it? Well, it'll be safer with you, but don't do anything until you hear from me. I'll get in touch with you somehow. Don't do it this way, Amos. If you have information that you honestly feel should reach the president, let me help you see that he gets it. But go back to the fort. Don't desert. Paladin, it's too late for that. It's too late for anything except just what I'm doing. Amos, yesterday I said you were no longer a boy, that you were now a man. I was wrong. You're acting like a stupid child. I know what I'm doing. You don't. And I'm not going to let you make a fool of yourself. Now, come on. Now, don't try... See, you're going don't back try to, stop to me, the fort. Paladin. No. no, I'm not. You stop. Oh. 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 Stupid kid. Oh. Uh. Amos. Hey. Uh. 
Hey, miss. Hey, Amos. Wait. Amos. 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 Amos, who did it? Who shot you? I... I... I'll track him down, Amos. Could you see who it was? No. Too dark. Well, let's get you to a doctor. No. No. Paladin? Yes. The map. The map? Yes. Place of singing water. Talika. <laughs> Amos. Amos. Major Gerson, my name is Paladin. Oh, yes. Yeah, sit down. You were with Lieutenant Leland last night when he... Most unfortunate thing. Yes, it was. Major, early this morning I followed the tracks of the horse that rode away from the scene. I finally lost the trail about, oh, four miles south. But this was an unshod horse, an Indian pony. Strange. Doesn't follow the pattern. That's not the way an Indian kills. No, I don't think it was an Indian. You have any suspicions? No, not really. Major, what do you know about the lieutenant's off-duty life while he was here at the fort? Well, not much. He was a strange one. Didn't mingle. Kept to himself. Always seemed busy poking around alone. Do you know what he was doing? No. He was gathering evidence of incompetence and bungling in the army to present to the chief executive. What? That's right. It was a sort of crusade. Yeah. No wonder he was so busy. Lord knows he could find enough of it around here. Major, it's a sad thing to see a man die for a cause he believed in. Paladin, Lieutenant Leland was young. He was impatient. He allowed himself to forget his lessons on military strategy. That sometimes it's necessary to take other than the shortest route to achieve an objective. He had yet to find out that battles are not won easily, nor without some margin for error. I think he died for a cause he knew was right. Just what are you getting at, Paladin? What right have we to be tolerant of corrupt practices? Or to be intolerant of youthful impatience? Maybe a little more poking around and meddling is what we need. I repeat, just what are you getting at? Amos Leland was murdered, Major. Because in his poking around, he uncovered something pretty hot. He compiled documents of his findings and... Major, it's only fair to tell you that I'm going to try to locate them. And if I do... I feel obligated to carry out the boy's plan and see that they're placed in the hands of the president. Well, I can't stop you, Paladin. But before you get too involved, think it over. Ah. Hey, Pedro. You see? Does the place of singing water mean anything to you? Oh, si, senor. What? It is the most beautiful spot on all Apache Reservation. But does Talika mean anything to you? Oh, si. Talika is the most beautiful girl on all Apache Reservation. She's daughter of great chief. Only now it is so sad. Sad? Now Talika will cut her pretty hair and make dirty with soot her pretty face and wear the ugly dress. Why is that? For the great sorrow. It is the Apache way. She will mourn her husband, our good friend, Lieutenant Leland. Her husband? Amos was married to an Indian girl. Talika was his wife in Apache marriage ceremony. Only Apaches know this, and I know it, and now you know it. Pedro, wait a minute. Here. Yeah, this map here. Does this make any sense to you? Oh, but of course. Uh, this mark, this is tree that leans, and here is cradle rock... 
This map, uh, this is place of singing water. I want to go there, Pedro. Will you show me the way? Seguro. Now, uh, you're sure this is the right spot? Hmm, the map says. Oh, that wiki up there, what's that? That is wiki up of Amos Leland and his wife, Talika. Ah, huh. they really made a home together. Huh? Apache home. Well, thanks, Pedro. You might as well go back now. I'll see you later. You dig, Senor Paladin. You dig, you find what you look for. Adios y buena suerte. Yes, goodbye, Pedro. Thank you. It is not much deeper. Huh? What? It is not much deeper. And a bit this way. Oh. Oh, well, I... I not mean to startle you. Please forgive me. I am Talika. Talika? Oh, you are beautiful. Um, uh, Talika, my name is Paladin. Paladin? Oh, yes. You are friend to Amos Leland. Your spade, Mr. Paladin. This way now. Dig mm. here. Oh, all right. There. Yeah. You see? Oh. The corner of wooden box. Uh-huh. That is what you want. Well, is it not? Yes, it must be. Oh. Have I your permission? Yes, Mr. Paladin. Take it. Thank you. There. Uh, you seem to know about this box, Delica. Yes, I do. Do you know what's in it? Yes. Bitterness. Bitterness? What are you trying to tell me, Talika? This. It is not in every man to be warrior, Mr. Paladin. Uh, no. But if it is not in man to be warrior, this man will say, let others be warriors. I will do what is for me to do. He will not hold bitterness in his heart and abuse those who are warriors? Uh, what you're saying is that Amos became bitter toward the whole army because he would never make a decent soldier, is that it? Yes. It is not easy for a man to have knowledge that he must fail when he is expected to prove himself as one of a line of great fighting men. But my husband did not look deep within himself to know this. I knew it. For I loved him very much. Well, I thought it was something I could do for Amos to take the information in this box to the president as he had planned to do. Mr. Paladin, mm. the great white father is welcome to it. But it will burden him. A box filled with hate and longing and anger. But take it. I have now to do what I must do. What's that, Talika? You are not stranger to our country, Mr. Paladin. You know Apache custom for the dead? To burn all the personal belongings, yes. There is not much. I had only part of his life. The wiki up, the buckskins he wore here, the bow my brother made him, things from our home. Talika, this belongs with the rest of his things. The box? Yes. Take it. Burn it, too. Thank you. It is right. I'm sure it is. But still, uh, Amos died for what is in that box. No matter what prompted it, he was a martyr to a cause. This will disturb you always, will it not, Mr. Paladin? Uh, I'm afraid so. It must not. Did you know that Amos Leland was soon to resign from the army? Yes. Did you know that his plans were to return to the east coast of the country and marry a girl to whom he has long been betrothed? No. I didn't know that. 
Do not be disturbed, Mr. Paladin. Amos Leland did not die a martyr to a cause. He died because he betrayed an Indian girl. Talika? Yes. I killed him. Mr. Paladin, you please move so Missy Wong can mop in that corner. Oh, oh sure. Oh, sure. I'm sorry, Miss Wong. Oh. I guess my mind was some other place. Mr. Paladin. Seem like since you come back from trip, you mind some other place. That's the time. Yeah, I guess that's right. That's right. Well, it was a disturbing trip, Miss Wong. Uh, hey, boy, say you go to soup. <laughs> Snoop. I guess you could call it that. Hey, boy, say you go to see if boy have problem. Boy have problem, Mr. Paladin? Yes, he did. Oh. But there wasn't much I could do about it. His real problem was deep in the recesses of his mind, and he wasn't even aware of it. Oh, my. Poor people. Get all mixed up. Laura, Mrs. James, and I both say you're the best housekeeper we know. You wouldn't say that today. I'm getting ready for the painters. Lately, I've had headaches and muscular aches and pains. Can't do half I should. Don't just put up with discomfort like that. For relief, try Doan's Pills. Good advice. That's Doan's Pills, an analgesic and mild diuretic to the kidneys. Nagging backache, also headache, dizziness, and muscular aches and pains may come on with overexertion, emotional upsets, or everyday stress and strain. Doan's pain-relieving action is often the answer, and they also offer mild diuretic action through the kidneys. So if nagging backache is making you feel worn out, tired, and miserable, with restless, sleepless nights, don't wait. Try Doan's pills, used successfully by millions for over 60 years. See if they don't bring you the same welcome relief. Get Doan's pills today. To save money, buy Doan's big economy size. Have Gun, Will Travel. Created by Herb Meadow and Sam Rolfe, is produced and directed in Hollywood by Frank Paris and stars John Daner as Paladin with Ben Wright as Hey Boy and Virginia Gregg as Miss Wong. Tonight's story was specially written for Have Gun, Will Travel by Ann Dowd. Featured in the cast were Vic Perrin, Don Diamond, Ken Lynch, and Lillian Byatt. This is Hugh Douglas inviting you to join us again next week when CBS Radio presents Have Gun, Will Travel. Thank you.